Hey there, Money Mavericks. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Planning Priorities. I'm your host, Jarrett McKenzie, Senior Associate at Hensler Financial, and I'm about to let you in on one of the biggest tax breaks that you've probably been overlooking. These days, with the cost of healthcare spinning out of control, it's no wonder that more and more investors are falling behind with their retirement savings. And although an increase in the cost of healthcare doesn't exactly give you reason to be excited, there is a definite bright side that may just enable you to reduce your taxes and help you save for retirement. A win-win, right? Definitely. The secret? Health savings accounts. More commonly known as HSAs, these accounts are arguably one of the best and most meaningful vehicles for retirement savers due to the triple tax benefit that they can provide. Oddly enough though, only 7% of Americans use them. That's right, just 7%. I mean, come on. Surely there are more of you out there that would love another tax deduction, tax-free growth on your money, and a better way to pay for these out-of-control healthcare costs. So, let's take a closer look at how these accounts work. HSAs were designed to help you set aside money for healthcare expenses without having to first pay tax on your contributions. And as a result, you get to keep more of the money you earn, providing you with the same benefit as contributions to your 401k. Now once in the account, these funds can be invested in many different securities, which may allow you to leverage the amount you're setting aside for potential healthcare expenses. If your money then grows as a result, you receive tax-free growth on those earnings, causing it to more quickly compound than if you had invested those dollars after paying tax. Then, to add icing to your cake, you get tax-free withdrawals on all your qualified healthcare expenses, ones you'd otherwise be paying for with money that has already been taxed. Am I dreaming? This all seems too good to be true. Okay, now that we've made a case for having one of these accounts, let's talk about the requirements to access one. First, and most importantly, you need to be in a healthcare plan which has a high deductible and under the age of 65 when Medicare kicks in. For 2018, this means you need access to a plan with a deductible of at least $1,350 for individuals or $2,700 for families and has an out-of-pocket maximum of at least $6,650 for individuals or $13,300 for families. Considering how sharply we've seen costs rise in recent years, these thresholds are easier to meet now more than ever. Therefore, it's very likely that you qualify and have access to an HSA, whether your employer offers offers this benefit or not. Now, most of us would access an HSA through our employer's group plan. However, this isn't the only option. You can also access one through a bank or other HSA provider. While these accounts certainly have their benefits, they shouldn't dictate your healthcare decisions. At this point, you might say, okay, Jared, this all sounds great, but what happens if I end up saving more to my HSA than I actually need to cover my qualified healthcare expenses? Well, the money in these accounts is totally yours. It's not a use it or lose it like you may have experienced with a flexible spending account. Money rolls over year to year, or if you're under the age of 65, you will owe ordinary income tax plus a 20% penalty on any withdrawals you take which are not for a qualified medical expense. After age 65, however, you can take withdrawals from your account without penalty, but your ordinary income tax rates will apply on any non-qualified portions you take. At the end of the day, HSAs can be a fantastic tool for accomplishing multiple objectives. But before you let these enticing benefits sweep you away, it's important to keep in mind that these accounts should not be considered your primary savings tool. That would be more traditional accounts like a 401k, particularly if you're eligible for a match. If you're already taking advantage of these though, HSAs can be ideal for stashing away additional funds that you may otherwise be giving to Uncle Sam. Just make sure you keep enough in cash available to cover any big health expenses that may come up along the way. Thanks again for joining me for this episode of Hensler's Planning Priorities. I'm Senior Associate Jarrett McKenzie.